This is a point of use electric water heater and I've got a brand new one downstairs in the box but I thought you might want to see it on the wall first before we go down and take it apart and see how it looks on the inside. This is the uh, shower head obviously. This is the temperature control. This is the on off. This one's a little bit fancier because it has a button that turns on the water and the electricity at the same time. Water pressure regulator. Most of them will have just a uh, water valve that you turn it on and off with. We have uh, both here. And then this one has an uh, ELB. So you push that to test it to see if it's working and reset it like that. Okay, so let's go downstairs, take it apart, see what it looks like inside. This is what comes in the package when you buy it. And I'm gonna say right now, this is not a how to install video. Uh, water and electricity do not mix well. And if you don't know what you're doing, somebody can get electrocuted. So this is something you really need to know what you're doing. Okay, having said that, let's move on. This is the main unit. And on the front panel is the temperature adjust. So this uh, causes the water to get warmer or colder that's coming out. This is the on off. This one's a little bit fancier than most of these heaters. When you push this button, it actually turns on both the water and the electricity. This one has also an ELB, an electronic breaker. And I think all of the electric ones have this nowadays. You push this. And if there's power to the unit and the breaker's working, it'll pop out here on the bottom like that. That's a reset. Uh, down here is the water output. There's a release screw. I don't think you can see it. And then there's the water input, and it's got a, a filter screen on that. Moving over here, we have the shower head. And I found that most of the time these shower heads flow way too much water for these units that uh, I always get one that has uh, you know, a lower sh flow shower head, works better. But okay, having said that, uh, then there's the water pressure regulator and that screws on down here onto this. And what it does is if you happen to have too high a pressure, it allows you to regulate it, bring it down to, for a little more comfort on the skin. This is the uh, wall mount for your shower head and also you get a package of screws and stuff like that and then the washer here that goes on the bottom of here between the tube and last but not least is the tube that goes from the output over to the shower head right here uh, inside is a plastic string like that i don't know if you can see that well but it looks like that and a lot of people pull these out because they say hey, it's blocking the tube no it's in there on purpose it's there to prevent the tube from kinking so yeah, you want to leave that in there. So that's it. That's what uh, comes in the box. And we'll open this up and we'll look inside and see what's going on. I've removed the screw out of the bottom of here and you just lift it off like that. There's two inputs to this device. One of them is the electricity here and the other is the water down here. Now let's track the water first. The water is going to come in here and if, if there's adequate pressure, it's going to push a little lever with a magnet on it. It's going to come in contact with this uh, reed switch and that will allow the whole system to be activated. If there's not enough water pressure, this thing will not work. Okay, so right here is a water valve and if I push this lever, this little thing does two functions. First of all, it opens the water up, opens the water valve up and down here it uh, activates the electrical switch, which turns on this. So this has many uh, safety features in it. Okay, so make sure that the water is flowing before the electricity comes on, make sure there's adequate pressure. Now, the water is flowing through here. It comes past this device right here. And this is the regular. It's gonna regulate how much electricity is passing into the heater coils up here to the tank. And that, of course, controls the temperature. So we have the main wires that come in from over here. And then we have these small wires that actually control this device. Okay, so the water passes through here. This thing is water cooled by the cold water coming in. Cold water enters the tank, comes in here, comes in contact with heater coils that are inside there. And then it's gonna come up here. Uh, the water is gonna pass down through here where you can't see the tube very well. Comes here and then out here. Now let's back up here and we'll look at the electrical path that's going on. The electricity is going to come in here and it's going to go down to the breaker. And then the main power comes over here 
to this device. And again, this device is controlling the amount of power that is going into the heaters. Okay, so if we look at this brown wire, it goes like this, comes up here, and it goes up to the heater coil. And you can see this red stuff on here. Well, this has a coil going in here, and it's just like on an electric stove. It just starts heating up and makes the water hotter. Uh, over on this side of the water tank, I don't know if you can see that very clearly, but there's a little silver device right here. That's kind of the bailout. If this tank gets too hot, this thing will just shut down. So this is kind of the safety device. And on the other side of the tank is a thermistor. Now this device is the thing that, that uh, measures the temperature that controls this circuit board. And this is the thing that controls it like within a degree or so. Uh, this is the thing that normally handles the temperature. So when you set the temperature here, it's going to keep this a uh, comfortable uh, temperature on your skin. And again, this one is more like the emergency shutoff. So, okay, regular control and emergency control. Now the rest of this is, there's not really a lot to explain. There's no microprocessor here. This is just good old fashioned electronics. Uh, and it keeps uh, track of the electricity coming out of the thermistor here and regulates the temperature to the tank. And that's pretty much all there is to it. I mean, it helps control the LEDs that are lit here, but these are more like, you know, just for user information. And that's it. So kind of a simple thing. It's uh, kind of low tech, but I personally, I prefer low tech because then you don't have all the weird problems. Okay, well, that's it for how this uh, water heater works. I hope you found that useful and interesting in your home DIY projects.